Now everyone is curious and they all want to know. Will it make you smarter? Will it make your penis grow? Nah, it won't bring you women. And it won't bring you luck. So why do we drink it? Because it, it tastes, tastes like, like fuck. Hi, welcome back to Worth a Dream. I'm Grim. And I'm Red. This is your home for whiskey reviews, mile high opinions, and Mach 5 something or another. Jokes? Mach 5 jokes. <laughs> so, today is September 17th. It sure is. Tomorrow is the Air Force's birthday. Happy birthday, Air Force. To celebrate, we have got a bottle of the one and the only Jeremiah Weed. Mm. Are you so excited? Is, <laughs> I'm excited. So, obviously, I mean, you know, uh, the the armed services are special. Because, I mean, we have family members and friends yep. all throughout the armed services. But you, your brother, is actually a fighter pilot. Yep. This is for him. This is for all the fighter pilots that came before him, and all the fighter pilots that are going to come after. I know that this is this bourbon liqueur, this hundred proof bourbon liqueur, <laughs> is revered among fighter pilots, and not for its taste. Yes, um, it's all about the journey with this. Um, yeah, I mean, it, there's not. There's only so much we can dress it up. You guys yeah. are crazy, and we uh, thank you for your service. <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> this is a hundred percent for you. Um, shout out to Dos Gringos as well. Uh, yes, they have a very uh, colorful song about Jeremiah Weed and all of its virtues, which we quoted in our cold open. Today. Yes, uh, um, we'll link a video in the in the description below. Yeah. It, the song is f it's fantastic. Uh, it's just it's real catchy. It's it's a it's fun to listen to. I've been singing it all day. Um, Dos Gringos in particular. I mean, they're both the, so both of the uh, performers in that band are retired F sixteen fighter pilots. It's really weird for you to say performers, <laughs> singers, songwriters, artists, artists. Yeah, artists in that, yeah. whatever. I don't know. But yes. They were F-16 pilots. So. I can't see a damn thing. No? I'm going I'm gonna, I'm gonna to see how long I can keep mine on. I might put them back on. Yeah? Yeah. But uh, you're going to have to. Yes. Yes. <laughs> For protection. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So, officially, unofficially, the whiskey for Air Force fighter pilots. Yeah. It is stocked in every bar. It is taken out at every roll call, uh, every toast. You do a shot of, uh, you do a shot of the weed. So, um, the weed. this is primarily a review channel. So, in conjunction with the celebration of the Air Force's birthday, we'll be reviewing this. And yeah. I'm going to use the re word review very lightly. Very lightly. Um, so, we're um, going gonna to fly by the seat of our pants here? Yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> I, like I was trying to come up with something that wasn't a Top Gun quote, and I... Is that a Top Gun quote? No. I've never it's actually not. seen Top Gun. No? That's Navy anyway. It is Navy. We're not that's why I didn't want to say a Top Gun quote. Yeah. It's, this is all about the Air Force. All about never mind. Anyway. Uh, so Jeremiah All about Weed, that Air Force base. All about that Air Force. <laughs> no Navy. <laughs> Jeremiah Weed right. has has a few products. Um, the one that is most popular with pilots is the uh, hundred proof bourbon liqueur. Uh, as you so eloquently put it. They also have a 90 proof uh, Kentucky bourbon. Mm -hmm. um, and they also have a sweet tea vodka and a lemonade vodka that came out in the 2010s yeah. ish. So, actually, you know, this is actually the first American product owned by Diageo. Oh, good call. We've, uh, we've touched a lot of Diageo products. Touched on. After dark. <laughs> a lot of Diageo <laughs> products. Uh, I was going to say Lagerbullen, Colila. Other things back here that we... Johnny Walker. Johnny Walker. So, in, in addition to, to um, Dos Gringos having a Jeremiah Reed so, Reed, Weed song, uh, is it Gary Jules? Because I can't read my old handwriting. Gary Jules. Gary Jules. Uh, of Mad World cover fame. Tears for yeah. Fears. To, well, no, hold on. Tears for Fears wrote the original Mad World, and then Gary Jules really yeah. made it popular. Um, he also has a Jeremiah Weed song. Yeah. And uh, since this is our second episode of the night... My handwriting is uh, very, very poor. I've actually noticed you sit down when you're writing too, so you're yeah. actually just writing away from yourself. Yeah. So the right side of the board gets like super sloppy. Yeah, and it kind of goes at it. Well, this one hasn't at an angle, but in the past it's been angled. Your lines look fine. My lines are a goddamn mess. 
Wait, I have to read. I'm reading. <laughs> so the glasses are helping? The glasses are helping. It we try, we try not to stare at the board when we're reading our lines here. Um, so, um, I don't know that there's... Is there much more to say? No. Are we going to get to pouring? Let's get to pouring. Let's get to pouring. All right. Oh, we didn't talk about what bottle this is going to go in. Is it going to go in? It's not a flavored bottle? whiskey. It's not a flavored whiskey. No. But it is a liqueur. It's a liqueur. What do you think? Do you want to do it first and then figure out where it goes? <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to... <laughs> I'll tell you this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use the same logic that I used for the Leopold Brothers two weeks ago. That in the long scheme, it's really only 1 20th of the full bottle. Yeah. So how bad can I make the whole bottle? <laughs> let's taste it first. <laughs> okay, let's taste it first. And we'll, yeah. Um, I, was, I, I have on good authority that this is always kept to the freezer. So if you notice some frost on the bottle, it's because this just came out of the freezer. Okay. Um, I'm looking at these glasses. Not glasses, glasses. I don't know if you can see where my eyes are right now. No, they can't. I also have a good authority that you don't sip this. So I've heard. It is shot or you're, you're kicked out of the bar. All right. I mean, if we're nothing, if not versatile. Those are large shot glasses. You don't have to fill the whole thing. <laughs> Judge me by my size, do you? <laughs> yeah. Pour a reasonable amount and we'll... You want to you wanna snifferize it and then shoot it? No. I don't sniff a shot before I take it. Just... <laughs> I'm just saying, we we're primarily a review channel. We can... You can't sniff a shot, though. Am I right? I do it. I sniff shots. My wife... All right, so my wife sniffs shots. I can tell by the that way was this thick. <laughs> I was gonna say I can tell by the way this pours that it's a. It's oh, gonna be an experience. She thick. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna. That's a deep. That's a big shot. You can handle that. You, enjoy that. you know what? This is a twenty millimeter. Can't. I got nothing. You know, I thought I was. I. So we're gonna we're gonna take a history history trip real quick. I thought I was going to be in the Air Force, try to be in the Air Force. Life went a different way. Yeah, it happens. Uh, but it happens. Uh, <clears throat> so I, I'm trying to, like... This is the closest you're going to get to being a fighter pilot. This is what I'm trying to say. This is as close <laughs> as I'm going to get to being a fighter pilot. So uh, I will say I did try on a, uh, a flight suit from a retired lieutenant colonel. Um, it's the closest I will ever come to wearing a corset. Maybe, depending on how much whiskey people buy me. You ever see those tubes of meat at the grocery <laughs> store? <laughs> that like the three pound, like vacuum packed. That's how I felt in the flight suit. <laughs> Probably it was too small for me, but I got myself in there. You did. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, are we going to do this or? So, no matter how you like your whiskey, that's the right way. All right, so that's really sweet. Lysol, Listerine, gasoline. They weren't wrong. <laughs> so those are those are direct lines from Dos Gringos uh, Jeremiah Weed, and that's you know what I'm going to say. There's a little bit of Diamond Tap in there too. Yeah, you know that feeling when you drink Diamond Tap, and it's almost like at the back of your tongue. Wow, like, that stays there. Mm. But I'll tell you this. All right, so the joke leading up to this episode has been it's revered among fighter pilots and not for its taste. Yeah. I was expecting way worse. I was expecting worse. I had built it up a little bit to be like, yep. we're going to drink straight gasoline. I have had some homebrew beer before that tasted like gasoline. I've had backwater moonshine. Like, yeah. I've had... I, I could have I stripped paint with that shit. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, granted, there's only 100 proof, but that actually, that's a lot smoother than... For a hundred proof, yeah. Than the uh, Uncle Nero's that we tried. Yeah. Well, it's, it's also it's also well not frozen, but it just came out of the freezer. Uh, yeah, so I'd that, say that may help. Room temperature is probably 
probably still not bad. You yeah. know what? I, I I like that a lot more than I thought I was going to. Um, yeah, me too, actually. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Air Force. Uh, I'd, I'd be remiss in not mentioning my mother's birthday was actually yesterday. Oh, really? Yeah. Happy birthday, Mama Grimm. She watches every episode. I would have already texted her at this point. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't text her mom. Yeah. Yeah. I would hope not. I mean... <laughs> uh, I'll never tell. <laughs> <laughs> after dark. Don't text my mom after dark. So that's it's thicker than what we, than what we tried. That's what she said. <laughs> So uh, it uh, burns in the chest Ooh. a little bit. Uh, like I can feel it not burning, but like warmth. Like yeah, like you. you I know I have drunk something that <laughs> that heater in your chest. <laughs> the heater in my chest. <laughs> exactly. So I'd say most of our lines for this whole episode is taken directly from Dos Gringos. That's very true. <laughs> but it is a catchy, a catchy song. It's a very catchy song. Fox One. Okay. <laughs> um, Actually, you're right. It's not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's sweeter. Um, it's very sweet. Does this? I mean, bourbon liqueur. Is it? Is it? Does that make it a whiskey? So I mean, if it's labeled as a as a liqueur, it can't really be a bourbon. It's almost, It's like a bourbon flavored liqueur. Yeah, I know exactly. It's like if I, if you got like a beer smoothie, like a beer flavored <laughs> smoothie, <laughs> it would it would probably fall under the same classification. Yeah, but. Um, I mean, you're not wrong. Like, I, I mean, it's it's sweeter than I expected. It it actually tastes a lot better than I was expecting. Yeah, uh, and for we've sure. had we've had some higher end stuff. Yeah. So I'd say like our palates are evolving as we do this, and that's really not that bad. Um. I can, yes. So I got nothing to add other than I agree with everything you said. And <laughs> hats off to fighter pilots because uh, I, you picked an interesting one. Yeah. About that. Yeah. Uh, you know, they actually happened upon that yeah there's a story behind this why and i'm gonna it this is kind of the abridged version yeah um, I'm, I'm not really gonna get into like names and, and specifics here but, but you can google it if you want to you can uh you know we'll link a good story in the in the description below but the abridged version is in the 1970s ish uh three pilots were uh kind of road tripping through the nevada desert looking for a crash site yeah. That two of those pilots survived the year prior. Yeah. Um, daylight Dur yeah, ran was, short, and it was like a, uh, it was like a combat exercise. Or something yeah, it like was that. like it was yeah, like a, a defensive exercise. Again, paraphrasing, abridged. Yeah. Uh, we're not in the air force. We're not. We don't have to know the whole story. No. <laughs> anyway, so daylight ran a little short, so they pulled into this dive bar and they ordered a couple afterburners. Um, the bartender didn't have the typical brandy that you would use for an afterburner so yeah. we substituted with jeremiah weed um all three pilots you know they finished their shots and the bartender was impressed and poured one for himself but he made a critical error so if you don't know an afterburner is when you pour a shot into a wide brim glass like this light it on fire and then shoot it and if you did it right there should still be wisps of blue flame in the glass yeah they're therefore being an afterburner so the bartender was impressed. He poured one for himself. <clears throat> and I don't know if he got scared or if he hesitated or if he... I think he flinched because... I mean, he, it's fire. He let it sit too long and the glass ended up burning his lip. So when he flinched, he ended up lighting his face on fire. So That's the pilots... unfortunate. The pilots beat the fire out. <laughs> I just imagine... Off his face. Three guys punching a dude in the face. Yeah. <laughs> Get away, fire! <laughs> anyway, so they beat the fire out and they just felt terrible for the ordeal that they put him through so they, they ended up buying a second bottle of jeremiah weed next day or following that night they ended up finding the crash site camping yeah. out um and just polishing off that second bottle, bottle shooting the shit telling stories and when they made it back to ellis air force base they brought the empty back to uh the o club o club yeah brought yeah. it back to the o club and they said you need to keep the stock and therefore started this air force tradition yeah, it is a Air Force institution at this point. Mm -hmm. um, so, and I mean, so kind of cool history. I mean, it could be swamp water if it's got a story like that and it's oh, a yeah. whiskey. Like I'm behind it. Like that. Hundred percent. We do this. We do this for the fun. We do it for the whiskey. We yeah. do it for the history. And that. I mean, that's a great story. I, and I can imagine every pilot that graduates from 
out of Ellis. Yeah. Like they probably they probably got buddies that bring them to the old club and they were like, all right, yeah, here's your rite of passage. So yeah, they do. Um, you know, shot or weed at every roll call. Um, and then if a pilot is unfortunately you know shot down or crashes or something like that, you know, there's a shot of weed for remembrance of that pilot that gets you know unfor- missing in action or killed in action or something like that. Yeah. Um, and again, you know, I thank your brother for kind of bringing us into this tradition and giving us the tip off. I mean, yeah. we're happy to do this for you boys, but you know, it's this, it's, it's this an honor. Pro- this probably would not have been on our radar. If not it, at all. If it had not been, uh, you know, for the people we know that are in uh, in the Air Force and fly jets. So. Yep. And I mean, you know, we ask I, ever since the episode one, we've asked for suggestions, and yeah. this is the kind this is the kind of stuff that we live for. Yeah. Um, you know this this was a this was a, a great suggestion. Yeah. For the history, for the story, for the surprisingly good not, flavor. Like yeah, it's not it's, bad. It's not bad. Um, <laughs> it. Maybe it's the song, maybe it's the, maybe there's a little bit of aftertaste of gasoline, but it's not terrible. It's not terrible. No. Um, and it's, it's actually surprising. It is. It's very, it's very surprising. Didn't you Google, why is Jeremiah weed? <laughs> <laughs> I did. So I, I Googled, so sometimes, so I, I consulted the almighty Google, these are parentheses that I'm doing. I consulted the almighty and I started typing in. Why is Jeremiah Weed? And the intention was to finish that sentence so popular among Air Force pilots, but Google autofilled even still made. <laughs> and I can tell you it's probably a hundred percent due to the Air Force. Oh yeah. Like they're 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 probably the biggest consumer. I'd say. Of this. But I mean th- there are probably other people that like it too. Yeah. I mean it's cheap and it's not bad. Yeah, I mean what was it? It was under it was I bought it. I should probably know how much it is. It was like fifteen bucks. Um, yeah. So it's not, it's not anything you know like super expensive or rare or anything like that. It'll get the job done. So that was a weird cut. Yeah, it was. <laughs> so uh, traditionally we come back to a second glass after it's rested, but we Why already know. Rest? Yeah, we already know that we haven't had anything resting. So uh, why don't you go ahead and pour me a shot here, Red? By the way, no cork. That's a See that? Very sorry I talked over that. <laughs> Skill. That's a good shot. I think that's a good shot? Yeah, I can yeah, that's that's alright. Can you handle it? I think we're even. <laughs> we did not pour my shot on camera. No. Uh you poured mine even when it was down on the tabletop. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Get your gear on. Oh yeah. Safety first. Uh, so we mentioned this tradition among you guys started with an afterburner, and we'd be remiss in not reciprocating for your birthday, right? Exactly. There's a flame in my cup. You're still going? No. It goes out easy. All right, ready? Ready, buddy? Go. Well, that's the right way. <laughs> I just burnt myself a little bit. A little but, bit. It does uh, smell like burnt air. But uh, it's still going in here. I think you lived up to the Air Force's uh, I did. Well, one of tradition. us had to. <laughs> one of us, we both have beards. One of us had to live up to the burnt face. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? You look all right. It smells a little bit back here like burnt hair, but you look all right. I feel like you only have half a mustache right now. You do. <laughs> I took it. I took the shot, and it hit like the overhang of my mustache, and it immediately <laughs> lit. And I knew I made a mistake. I heard the crackles. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing you're working offsite. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you that. Uh, I have to just. <laughs> my wife is dying. Back <laughs> but hey, scarves. This is why we carry. This is why you have scars, right? Yeah. Uh, this is uh, this is for you guys. Put out face fires. Happy birthday, Air Force. Happy birthday, Air Force. I lit myself on fire for you. <laughs> that uh, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't want it to happen, but like I was kind of hoping it was gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. You were me. It was gonna happen. We survived, and I didn't have to punch you to put it out. Exactly. 
I, um, no. It's been an experience. It has been an experience. It's been a very warm experience. I feel like I've burnt my upper lip. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. Like my lip feels burnt. Uh, you got what? You got water there. I do have water. So, if you guys like what you saw here today, if you want to see us set ourselves on fire some more, give us a like, give us a subscribe, check us out on Facebook, uh, comment down below anything else you guys want to see, more recommendations. Uh, I think the Marine's birthday has already passed. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I can still smell the burnt hair. <laughs> <laughs> Navy birthday is, uh, might have already passed, but if, you, if there is one specific, uh, Jeremiah Weed's probably the most uh, well-known, but... Uh, let us know down below. <laughs> and no matter if you like your whiskey, it's the right way. Even burnt. <laughs>